Hey, what's up? We're playing Gran Turismo 6. I got my steering wheel out. We're gonna do some international A races, which are freaking... They're gonna be hard. Gotta look around. We gotta get certain cars, right? We're gonna get a 550pp, uh, whatever, Super GT or whatever car. I think we should get a NASCAR. Huh? Take a look at the recommended Super GT cars. Something under f under 550. Well, it's only a certain amount, and they're all basically five like around 500. The only and then the next step's 560 pp. Huh. All right. Well, how many on this page? There's this one right here. What R E Armias? I don't know what brand that is. Subaru. That'd be cool. We can get an Impreza. Yeah. Lexus. Maybe a Lexus. Alright, those are our, our options right now. Another Lexus. Ooh, ASL. Age, sex, location. That's something that people... AOL, huh? Yeah, anyone, anyone remember AOL days, huh? ASL fucking gayest man like I was like when you, I was like freaking like 8, 9, 10 man freaking being 8 years old on AOL that was the weirdest times anyways but it's it kind of reminds me of the app store and shit all the free we, the weird games the weird weirdness of the internet then and why am I talking about this we gotta just pick a car out of this list, all we have are more Subarus. Huh. 510, 345 horsepower. Okay. And then these Subarus are 295. 295 four wheel drive. These Subarus, FR. Oh, well, I don't know if I should do four-wheel drive or not. Subaru BRZ. I think R&D Sport. That over the racing Impreza. This is the first Subaru BRZ Super GT machine. Fuck, that thing looks so nice. Okay, let me just give the Subaru another look. The well, the Impreza. What's this one look like? This Impreza had to be reconfigured from four-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive. Oh, damn, that's a nice-looking Impreza, though. Man, it just looks so nice. Which one's better? Mm. I don't know. I think maybe we'll get the other one. I know. I know. It doesn't look as cool as the Impre Well, I don't know. It looks. It, it does look cool too. It. I got it. Be I bought it for a reason, right? It's kind of because of the looks. Like I. I want to get. And then, like a sick Impreza as well, but that's like I don't think I'd be able to get a Subaru that looks exactly like that one. I don't know, maybe there is. Oh, fuck, I should just look. Anyways, we'll look at the Subarus in a second. Let's go pick out a NASCAR. Uh, Jeff Gordon, Chevrolet. Dale Earnhardt Jr. What else? Oh, look at that. Another one. Another one. Impala. 620. Oh, they're all 620. Wow. These like different years? 2010, 2011, 2013, SS. 
11 Impala and 10 Impala. I guess they were just, yeah, different, different years, whatever. Let's get the 2013. Jeff Gordon. SS. That's so funny, they're all like the same, all the NASCARs are the same. Seriously, they're all Chevys? Oh yeah, and so there's, there actually are some Fords and Toyotas. Cool. Nice. Let's get this one. Why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's do it. The Drive to End Hunger Chevrolet SS. That seems like a good... That's a good one. <laughs> it's a good cause. Drive to End Hunger. We will play Gran Turismo to end... That doesn't even make any sense. Because it's an important thing, but... Driving to end hunger? It's like... But driving causes pollution. How does that make any sense? How would driving and hunger? But we're raising awareness. That's what we're Whatever, man. Hey, look at that. I bought that Subaru right there. It's even suggested. That's pretty sick. And let's give her a go. I can't believe it. We spent so much. Look at that. 900,000 credits now. We don't even have enough to go buy like a crazy fucking car, whatever we want. Like go to Plymouth. Whoa, that's a sick looking Plymouth. It's like, what if we want a Cuda? There's no, it doesn't, there's no Hemi Cuda. Blur. Seriously. I was actually disappointed by that. No joke. So let's go to the Ferraris, look at the Ferraris, be like, ooh, I wish I had a Ferrari, but I don't have a million, but what about, oh man, look at that, look at that, they're all so nice, oh man, that's a million, California, an F40, there's no F50, is there? Huh. Really, no Ferrari F50. Fuck, that car is so nice. Million five. An F430, that's... That looks like... It's a middle of the road Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. 7.5 million. God damn it. There's no Testarossa. Just realized. This is a GTO. Those are nice. Fucking nice. But oh, which one? Man, th those ones. Especially this one. Looks so nice. Just because spent so much time just looking at all the different cars. Ooh. That one looks sick. Can't spend too much time looking at it. Cause it will make us all jealous and stuff. What about this one right here? I'm looking. I'm eyeballing this one right here. Right here. Check it out. Bam. We could change the color of the Ferrari, but why would we? Yellow Ferrari is nice. Nah. Let's do it. Okay. Bam. Bam. Oh. Oh shit, he just did it. He just bought a Ferrari. He just bought a Ferrari. Fucking A. Oh, yeah. That's our first Ferrari. Sick. So now when we're in the list, oh my god, it has a little check mark. It's like you got that car, yo. But what about some other cars? It's my BMW. Man, those are some nice BMWs. Z4, how about a Z8? Z4 M, oh, 2001 Z8. That's a lot of money, though. Ooh. So funny how small the difference is between the uh, Z4 and the Z8 in horsepower, but it's actually big difference in the car and stuff. It's because it's a BMW. Mm. 
big differences in price. I don't know. It's c but they're actually like, fuck, B&Ws are so nice, honestly. So, Lambo. What type of cars do you want to look at? Maybe I should put them, instead of from PP, I should put them from year. That might make it a bit easier. Oh man, Lamborghini Mira. So what about the newest? Murcielago, really? Aventador. Fuck. That'd be a nice one to get. Honestly, like, driving around a Lamborghini, like, if you actually have one in real life, that's... And driving around in all... If you drive around all the time in a Lamborghini, that's just... That's weird. It's just weird. Those, those cars are... They're so... They're like toy cars. It's so... It's insane. It would just be... It'd be nice to drive around a Lamborghini, but, like, every other car needs to start looking crazier, too. Because it stands out too much. 25th anniversary Countach. Fuck. Old school Countach. There aren't that many cheap Lamborghinis. Even the Diablos. I don't think I'm getting any of those. What about a Maserati? Ooh. Just one. Too bad there aren't like old, like seriously, older Maseratis and stuff. Like, goddamn, you could have. Why don't they? Instead of having a hundred Nissans, they should have a hundred Maseratis. Fuck, that'd be so nice. So, McLarens are too expensive. What about getting a Mini? How about what are these? Let's get a. Let's get a 2007S. Why not? Or, nah, fuck it. Let's get the newest one. Let's do it. Select color. Uh, I don't know. What's a good mini color? Man. I don't know. What's my favorite? I've always wanted a blue one. Yeah. That's sick. Laser blue. Fucking A. Oh man. We're making purchases just left, right, and center now. That's not even for the IA class. It's just a car that's awesome. Damn. <laughs> it's still freaking awesome. So are we not going to use that car? Just bought it so we can drive it later and have lots of fun. Get other minis and stuff. Get other cars. There's a hell of a lot. Light car company. Rocket. Huh. The fuck? It's got 166 horsepower and 556 performance points. That's insane. 390 kilograms. That's a light car. Fucking ridiculous. Wow. Anything else crazy that we should look at real quick? Nah. Maybe an old Mustang. You've been signed out of PSN. That's kind of weird. Sucking my balls. Uh, just wait a second. And then, uh... oh my God, error! You're back in the PlayStation Network. Okay, let's look at these Mustangs. A Mach One would be pretty nice. Whatever. Okay, enough of that shit. Okay, we're done out of the car. We're, we're done buying cars and stuff like that out of the store. Let's go into here. Let's do this. Subaru works. 
It's one of them. Well, it's just because it fits within the PP limit, but... I guess let's just enter and cross our fingers and hope for the best. Man, this is gonna be crazy. I hope we do well. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be nuts. What the fuck? Come on. Press start. Actually, let's look at the settings first. Nice. How about upgrading the car? Can we? Oh, no way. Stage 3. What? Hey, it makes it go from... That's sick. That's the only thing we can do. Uh, how about turbo? Oh, shit. Yeah. How about this? Oh, shit. That's pretty fucking awesome. And how about this? Nah, we don't need to. There's no way. Yeah, no upgrade. But, that was really good. It says our max speed is 168. I'll just uh, hold it to that. I, I guess if it auto sets it, that'd be kind of cool if it auto sets. You you have the fully customizable clutch, so it just auto sets it to every single track. That'd be fucking. That'd be cool. I never even thought of that. Oh shit! Here we go. The race has begun. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> this guy, I, I still don't know how this car feels like because I'm just holding it in a straight line. That's what we're gonna feel right now. As it breaks. Ooh. Whoa. That thing kinda. Ooh. Ooh. That thing handles really nice. I, 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 I kinda don't like how it handles. It handles too smooth. Whoa. You can hear that. Wow. Well, I guess you can't hear. What I meant to say is you can feel it if you if you're driving with a wheel you can feel it like once you uh, hit a turn you hear it like you feel like the force bounce and stuff with it. you can feel the suspension try to pull you and the bumps in the road oh, it's so fucked honestly it's it's an unreal feeling it's so much better than a controller but it makes it so much harder to to do well. It's like if you could just control the game with one button. It's like, it's honestly, it's like, if you think about it, like, uh, racing games on iOS and stuff, they have, like, the driving assist that they have in racing games on iOS, at that real racing game, it's like, it, it, get, it automatically gives it gas for you, and then it automatically gives it brake for you, and then automatically turns for you. Like, I'm not joking. Like, you, you press, uh, it automatically gives you gas. Like, the way they have driving games set up on or, or most, or a lot of, whatever. They have a lot, like a shitload of driving games on iOS. And just, like, I guess Android too. That are just like, what you do is, it automatically gives it the gas, and you touch the screen to make the car break. So, you already have way less freedom, right? Because you're either giving it full, you're either gassing or brake. There's no, like control over that so that's insane right it's already way limited but besides how much of a joke that is like then the steering and stuff gets to be a difficult thing and people when they're playing it like braking is hard I guess for certain people whatever like they, just they treat people like such idiots that they'll have like a thing that will break for you so as you go into the turn, it will like slow you down. So then you don't. So you still need to like press brake. Well, I I don't know. You, if you don't press brake, it will brake for you. But basically, you don't need to like worry about whether or not you press too much brake or whatever when you have the brake assist thing on and that real racing iOS crap. It's it's hilarious because it, 
Yeah, and then like the automatic steering, it's like because steering's hard. I don't know, it's like every single control that you have control over is not precise enough to actually be like reliable so they have like assist to just do it for you so you're literally not doing a thing and it's like a racing game where it automatically gives gas automatically brakes automatically turns it's so funny and then yeah so the, what I'm saying is like steering wheel to a controller is like you have there's more potential to fuck up because there's more like input and stuff that you're dealing with the game gives you which is great but you know it's a trade-off there's more potential to be awesome and it's way more satisfying of an experience but it's also more difficult doing it with a controller you still you learn a lot and understand a lot but you just can't get that feeling that you get like with a steering wheel, you don't you you don't get the feeling from the road that you and like all those little details that you you get all these things with a wheel that you don't get with a steering wheel. Ugh. You get all these things with the steering wheel that you don't get with a controller. That's what I meant to say. And holy crap, this car is nowhere. Like, what's wrong with me? Nowhere close to getting close. I'm 12th place. Whoa. I should just restart. Hell yeah, abandoned race. That was pretty fucked. What do I do? Should I lower the horsepower? Uh, yeah. Oh, you have to save the game because with the because you suck so much. Really? What's that? Thank you for playing. Oh. Oh, suspend championship is an exit championship. It says pr press PS button and get the fuck out. That's kind of cool if you want to save the game and stuff, but... I just wanted to exit. I sucked. Holy moly, that's that was really hard. Can't believe how hard that was. Can I just do ah? All right, let's give it a go. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Seriously, like this is. It's really funny. Like the the harder the game gets, it's the exact same thing that happened with five. I can't believe it though. Like I I got to like the super whatever. I got to like the heart the highest level or whatever. Craziest hardest races or whatever in Gran Turismo Five, but like it took a long time. We're pretty close, but not really. The IA stuff took me a really 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 long time and. It took, like, it took me longer to beat the IA stuff than it took me to get all the way to that point. In, in Gran Turismo 5, so it's probably going to take me that long in 6. Who knows? The way, like, 5... The way Gran Turismo 4, 5, and 6 have been structured, they've all been very different. Like, th Gran Turismo 4 and 3 were very similar in the way that they were structured, but... Five and six are very different from each other. Whoa, slow down. Alright, maybe I should just go into the. Dude, what the fuck? This interior looks epic. Holy crap. This is a sick interior. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Hey, it's like we're even driving better. Wow. Maybe we shouldn't though. Maybe we should drive like this. This is probably the best way of doing it. Oh shit! Slow down. Fuck. Stay in the. 
stay in it. Nice. Slow down. Oh, fuck. See, I should not have given it break at all there. Fuck. Give it gas. Wow. Oh my god, I'm doing better. But I don't know how much better. Eighth place is still not good. That's not podium at all. Wow. Oh my god. Come on. Victory. We can do this. We can. Oh wow, that's a crazy turn. Alright. Alright, just be very, very careful. And this is like, it's so funny because this game, it drains your brain. It honestly does. It's so cool. Well, it's not that it drains. I don't know what I mean. It drains your It like, it takes so much concentration and it's awesome. It is very much like a meditative experience. But it's way much more than that because it requires your full attention and you have to zone out. It's fucked. You have to be fully aware, but not aware of anything else. It is fucked. Hopefully I'm catching up, but... I don't know. Oh, I can feel it, I can feel it. Yeah, we're totally catching up. Look at that. Catching up like a bounce. How much more can we do it? We must race like pros. Oh man, these cars, they handle so much, like you can turn the wheel a lot more. Like these racing cars, you you can do things that you totally would, would it would be impossible for a different car to do certain things that these cars can. Like handle certain turns at certain speeds without actually spinning out and stuff like that. Like it doesn't matter about I'm not talking about what, when you go into a turn and you break too late and then you're all fucked up because you entered the turn wrong at the wrong speed and stuff. I'm talking about just how fast it can handle turns and stuff like that and its grip and, and stuff like that. Which is really good because you couldn't really distinguish the two as much in earlier games as much as you can in this game which is fucking great. Which proves that it is something that it, it like you can actually pick out. But holy shit. Go. You could all you can pick that out in the earlier games too, because like race cars always could just handle turns better, but maybe it's just a steering wheel. I don't know, I guess I should probably just stop saying that. Grand Turismo 6 is so much better than the previous ones because just they're all good. They're all continuations of the same idea and the same spirit. And I'm first place. I honestly like what? I didn't think this was possible. I was like so a few minutes ago like, oh, it's impossible. I'm not gonna do it. This is this can be fucking impossible. What the hell's wrong with me? How can I not beat the race? Is it this camera angle? Holy moly. Wow. This is insane. It can't be the camera angle. It can't. This makes no sense. How would it be the camera angle? Oh. Maybe it is the camera angle. I don't <laughs> Not sure. Really not sure. It's gotta be a combination of many things. One of them, one of those ingredients is just pure ownage. Cause, yeah, you saw that, that was pure ownage. Pure ownage. Bum, 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 bum. Sick. Honestly, now we're gonna go through, we're gonna sh shed through every other race. Just tear through them. Like annihilation, just pa bow, pa bow. Kick ass. Kick ass. Holy shit. 
I was just looking at that. 60 grand. I'm happy. Alright, race one done. We seriously have to do four more without any re repeating, no restarting. We gotta kick ass. It's on the line. Oh man. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a break. Then we'll play more. Gran Turismo 6. Fuck, this is gonna be a crazy one. Super GT 300 Championship Race 2. Coming up next. See you later. Peace. Leave a like. It really makes me like. It, I like it when you like, because it helps. Bet you didn't hear that one before. Bam! Later.